Hey, all you planeteers at home. Remember, turn off the faucet between usages and recycle those plastics. Or else, I'll turn you into a fucking tree. Captain Planet, motherfucker. You know, something I've discovered in the last couple of years since I've been doing this four and a half years to be exact is there's nothing more fun than a good comic con. There really isn't. The atmosphere, I love buying comic books, I love buying memorabilia, uh, you know, shirts, uh, you know, necklaces, things like that, you know, fun stuff. There's one thing you don't want to deal with when you go to a comic con, and that's political bullshit. Guess who wants to bring up the political bullshit at San Diego Comic Con this year? Of course, our old friend and Activia spokesperson, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes, she fires up the Comic Con crowd with a plea to fight climate change. We're effing the world, she said. You get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. Look, just, just eat yogurt, poop in peace, do your movie roles, and, and whatever. Like, I just, this is so, there's so much science on, I don't even want to get into it because YouTube will do something stupid because I'm talking about something that's clearly been grifted and monetized, which, I mean, I should just do it 99, never mind. Anyway, uh, the star took part in a panel at SDCC to debut her first graphic novel, Mother Nature, which focuses on a nefarious oil company. California coastal elites, Hollywood royalty, like Jamie Lee Curtis, daughter of Tony Curtis and Janet Lee. Hollywood royalty, as it were. Telling you that your the way you live is bad. You know, because you don't live like her, a virtuous celebrity life. You know, worried about the smallest injustice and social wrong. Which is an absolute fucking joke. Because these people don't fucking care. They just, money, that's what it's about. Money. To people like Jamie Lee Curtis, who uh, writes some shitty graphic novel uh, about a fucking oil company. Like, come on! Jamie Lee Curtis enjoyed a celebratory moment before taking the stage at SDCC on Friday to promote Mother Nature, which is her first graphic novel, and takes aim at the forces contributing to climate change. Oh, no! <laughs> I saw this book in print two hours ago for the first time, said Curtis, who was joined on stage by her co-writer Russell Goldman and artist Carl Stevens. I've seen it in PDF form, and it's, uh, it is thrilling. She did not waste time emphasizing the project's ecologically minded message. We're fucking the world. There's a possibility of change, but we're going to have to do it. And I'm really thrilled to see how enthusiastic you guys are for this beautiful piece of work that Carl has made for us. Her points were met with enthusiastic applause from the supportive audience. Of course they were. <laughs> Featuring plenty of gruesome violence, Mother Nature is out August 8th from Titan Comics and centers on Nova Terrell, a resident of Ketch Creek, New Mexico, who seeks payback against a nefarious oil company that was linked to her father's death. Curtis explained she initially told her husband, Christopher Guest, that she had an idea for a screenplay and that he encouraged her to write it herself. Ultimately, the project's team decided it would work best as a graphic novel. This marks the first time that Curtis, who is a New York Times best-selling author and is soon to release a children's book, has worked as a creator in this medium. During the time on stage, Curtis noted her timing was right for the project, given the extreme weather recently experienced by much of the... Oh, my God. Do these people not know things are cyclical? This is not... Oh, my God. I, I don't have the time or energy to break this down right now. That needs its own video. It's happening today, she exclaimed. We have the hottest we've ever been in this country for a week. I mean, talk about good timing. Seriously, we couldn't be talking about something more important. Yeah, are we still sending the military to fight climate? You stupid... Never mind. Curtis, who said there was a chance for Mother Nature to be adapted into a film down the road. Oh, God. Emphasize she doesn't see climate change as a political issue. I'm not proselytizing, the Halloween actress said. I don't care what side you're on. It's happening. There are things we can do to amelioriate it and try to stem the tide. Excuse the pun. Shit is happening. It feels so absolutely on point right now. No, it's not. No, it's not. Shut up. Shut up, you grifter. 
Later, a fan asked the star to recall her favorite successes in life, and Curtis brought up her two daughters and also her work in Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which earned the performer her first Oscar earlier this year. Never seen it. The greatest moments, blah, 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 don't care. Uh, during the panel, uh, Curtis did not address the ongoing actor strike, which has kept performers from promoting their acting work at Comic-Con. The labor disputes involving SAG-AFTRA AFTRA, and the Writers Guild have meant this year's panels largely went without the big names and recognizable faces that typically thrill crowds and lead to lengthy lines for prominent events. So I wonder if at Horror Hound this year... Uh, some of the actors are going to be there, you know, or, or, or they're going to miss. I would hope, you know, some of the older ones are going to be there. Like Robert England is scheduled. I met Doug Bradley. Uh, I'd love to meet Kane Hodder. He is one that I really, really want to meet because not only is he Jason fucking Voorhees, but, but he is also in Avenging Force. But speaking of Avenging Force, is Jamie Lee Curtis's Mother Nature. You see that segue? I don't think this is going to be an avenging force on behalf of cli climate change. Um, this will probably go out with a whimper uh, the way most of these things do and just kind of fade away to the obscurity in which it rose from the first place. Even though she's an Oscar winning actress. Uh, I don't know why I did air quotes for that. I mean, she did win an Oscar. But I mean, that doesn't really qualify you to speak on behalf of climate change. Like, I, I don't know. These people are just paid for this shit. And it's ridiculous and hilarious. And meanwhile, I just want to watch a fucking movie and not have some asshole preach to me or read a comic book, which is why I buy old stuff. Yes, I know there's politics in comic books, but back then, see, the writers were talented. And they weren't activists. They were actual writers. And they knew how to make things subtle and not just be like, bam, men are bad. Bam, hey, uh, you can't have a truck anymore. Boom, you can't have a gas engine because we want you to drive an electric car, days. No. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, folks, that's the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not yet. But even if you hate me and you watch this long, I appreciate it. Thank you. Because I know a lot of people do. So I appreciate it. I don't care. I thank you guys for watching. I'm E. Temple Kui and from the place to be reviews, we've been here with all these. We don't see you. Have a great day. Plus tomorrow. We'll catch you on the next one. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. It's better to burn out than to fade away. I could do this all. Oh, Chris, thank you very much. Yeah. It's a waste of good suffering.